If you're anything like me, you have an ongoing struggle to keep your house clean and tidy. The idea of a weekly cleaning schedule is, quite frankly, laughable. Stuff tends to accumulate in piles and take over large areas of the house. So before you can clean, you have to spend several hours figuring out where to put all of your stuff so you can actually clean. But did you know this is not a personal or moral failing? It may just be a sign that you struggle with executive functioning, something that's common to a lot of neurodivergent people. Executive functioning is a term used to describe how the brain plans, organizes, and implements actions. Household management is basically nothing but executive functioning. The bad news is that household maintenance is never finished. We will continue to soil the spaces around us until we die. The good news is that we don't have to be held hostage to our own neurology because there are two steps to getting out of the everyday chaos. Number one, understand specifically why you struggle. Number two, implement workarounds to target this. So I want to introduce you to this video's sponsor, an app called Sweepy that's been helping me do just that, and I think it could help you too. Telling me to go clean the bathroom is like telling me to run a marathon. There's no chance it will get done. A lot of the tasks that we set ourselves are actually smaller tasks lumped together as one. So clean the bathroom on a list is actually really unhelpful to me. Because, well, it's not just one thing. You have to tidy up, empty the bins, clean the toilet, clean the sink, vacuum, mop. And keep in mind some of the less regular things that also need to be done, like clean the windows, for example. And this is obviously many steps disguised as one. So telling myself, oh, I need to clean up downstairs is overwhelming because I know that it will require a lot of energy and time, and I don't have any clear vision of where to start because I am a detail-oriented person, which means I see everything. And most of the time, what the downstairs living area needs is not an intense five hours where I slog away. It needs smaller, more regular maintenance. I know this is quite the revelation that has only really just occurred to me in my 30s, but let me tell you, having kids has really changed this for me because pre-kids, I had a lot of coping mechanisms, which involved generally putting all my energy to something and hyper-focusing. And this method might work for one or maybe two people. It's really not ideal, but it might work. But then throw in a screaming, puking baby and or an ADHD tornado kid, and you've got yourself a problem. These kids will just laugh in the face of your carefully constructed coping mechanisms. And honestly, using hyperfocus as a tool to get things done is kind of like driving on the motorway in second gear. You'll get there, but you'll burn through a lot of fuel and nothing will work afterwards. So I really needed to drastically change my habits now that there are four of us in the household, plus cats. Not an easy feat. I found this app sweepy completely by accident when I was idly searching for apps. It's a free app, by the way, with some premium features, but most of the functionality of the app is completely free. The premise of sweepy is a gamification of household chores, breaking down room cleaning into smaller tasks, prioritizing building a small daily habit rather than becoming an intense hyper-focused cleaning beast, and easily getting a color-coded visual overview of the state of your house. It's enabled me to stop seeing my living space as clean me. And instead, I've started seeing it as broken down parts of the whole, which is much more manageable even when I get behind. It stopped making me feel like household maintenance was a marathon and instead makes me feel like, okay, I'm exhausted, I'm having a bad day or whatever. I have no time, I have no energy, but I could just dust the TV. Then at least I've done a thing. So how does it work? Well, you start by setting up all the areas in your house. This sounds like more of a hassle than it is, but when you add a type of room, it automatically suggests tasks that you might wanna do based on the category of room that you've added. So it's actually very simple to set up without too much stress, and you can keep the tasks that are relevant and delete what's not. Sorry, Sweepy, but I am never, ever, ever going to clean my baseboards. As you are setting things up, you need to specify how often something should be done, and also how much effort it takes, as well as the state that it's in so you can start right away. This is something totally personal that you should customize according to you and what you feel and what you think. Because there are certain tasks that I really despise, no matter how easy they seem. And there are some harder tasks which I consider less effort because they're more fun. You should make this work for you, after all. So for example, many people only need to vacuum once a week, 
but with four people in the house and two cats that like to spread their litter everywhere. And we're all sharing, you know, the main living area downstairs. We kind of need to vacuum every other day at least. So once everything is set up, you can see all the rooms in your house and what state everything is in at a glance, which I find so helpful. The real genius of this app is that tasks will decay based on how often you, you've set up to do them. And this has been set up really visually. So green means something is shiny and clean. Yellow means it's pretty much good enough. And red indicates that it might need attention. Now, remember we assigned every task an effort score at the beginning. This pays off when you are having a bad day. So if you're low on spoons or exhausted or poor executive function or just having a bad day. You can open your app and you can sort your tasks by how easy they are to do. This allows you to have small, easy wins and still stay on top of things, even if you have inconsistent energy levels. There are also some really cool premium features where it will generate a daily schedule for you, taking the most awful, stinky tasks as the priority. And you can add your family members as well for some friendly competition. And if you really enjoy the gamification of mundane tasks, you can also take part in their decluttering challenges. Having another child has thrown our house into further chaos. This baby phase is particularly brutal with regards to stuff everywhere. And it's great to make this bite-sized too, the decluttering process, not, not the baby. This is a really nice thing to do in January or February. Here in Northern Europe, the weather is pretty dull and depressing this time of year. There's not much going on. So I like using this time every year to make our home more livable. Thanks so much to Sweepy for sponsoring this video. I actually liked the app so much that I approached them about working together and finding video sponsors that I also think are really helpful to my audience is very important to me. Videos like this also massively support the channel, so do give it a thumbs up and please go and check out Sweepy if you're interested. Like I mentioned, it's a totally free app to download and, and set up. So let me know what you think in the comments and hit the like button and I'll see you next time. Bye.